Hi, in this video I'm going to try and show you how I put an outline on a digital image that I was having trouble scanning through the Scan and Cut machine recently. Now, some of you that have already seen some of my videos will know that I use a Mac and um, this software that I'm going to try and show you how to do this with today isn't Mac compatible, so I'm having to do this on a Windows laptop. So. If it doesn't come over as good as my video screen captures normally do, I am sorry. Um, but this is the best I can do at the moment. So I've got here Serif Craft Artist 2. And there is a craft artist available free that you can download and use from the internet. But I'm not sure that you can use this outline feature in the free version. But if you've got Craft Artist 2, and you've got stamped images or decoupage images or digital images that um, are, just won't scan through your scan and cut machine, then try this. So I'm going to open a blank project and I'm going to choose an A4 landscape page and say OK. Um, I don't need this, I just want a blank page. Now, I'm going to come over here to the left to this pane where all these options are here and I'm going to click on Photos and I'm going to come down to where it says Add and I'm going to find a digital image that I've saved on the desktop of this laptop. So I just need to find it. Okay, so it's here and I'm going to say Open. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but it's put my image up here under this Photos pane. So if I click and drag this onto the page now and let go, this image is a digital image. I'll just click somewhere on the page just to deselect. And you can see it's um, like a pencil drawing and it wouldn't scan properly. Um, the only way I got it to scan was by actually going around some of the outlines with a black marker. But you can use this Serif Craft Artist, as I say, and hopefully um, you can get the results that I've had. I've tried it with a few digital images and it's worked on them all. So I'm just going to come out a little bit so that you can see the tools hopefully that I'm going to use. So, um, first of all, what you need to do, I'm going to click on it to select it. I'm going to come up here and this one here, this square that's got like a square in the middle is your line and that's what we want. So we're going to left click on that to bring it to the front and we've got no fill, we just want a line. And then next tab along to the colour tab, it says line. Now I've not touched any of these at all. I think these are just the default settings. So we want solid line, which is the second icon. So I'm going to choose that. And then down here on this slider, you can either slide along or click on the little arrow. And I'm gonna choose 2.0 point. That's the thickness of the line I'm going to apply around the edge. Now again, you can play around with these settings, but this is just the ones I've used so far. I'm going to come down to styles here, make sure the styles tab is in front and then on the drop down menu I'm going to come to lines. It may not be on lines by default so you want lines and then all these little cogs appear underneath and then if you just scroll down using the arrows you've got dash lines and all kinds of different lines, thin lines, medium lines come down again you've got extra heavy lines and thick lines so I'm just going to scroll up one I'm going to choose this one which says medium line and as soon as I left click on that it and I'll just deselect somewhere on my page it's added a thick well a medium black line all around this digital image so all as I need to do now is print that off and scan that through my scan and cut and it will cut as I say, I've tested a few, I've done this exact same process and it's worked every time. So you could use this for stamped images or as I say, you can use it for digital images or even decoupage sheets. 
Now, if you've got a stamped image and you've got this software and you've not got a scanner, if you stamp your image and scan it through your scan and cut using the third option, which is scan to USB, as far as I'm aware, that saves that image as a JPEG. So if you stamp your image, use scan to USB, save it onto a memory stick, and then put your memory stick in your computer or your laptop, you can then bring that stamped image into this serif software the same as I did with this image. And then you can add your outline, print it out and scan it back through the scan and cut using direct scan if it's one of your own designs um, or scan to cut data, whichever option you use. And it should pick it up for you every time. So I know this has probably not been um, great visually to see but as I say unfortunately this software only works on Windows and I use a Mac so I've had to do this on an old laptop. Anyway I hope it helps please le leave me any questions or comments below um, please like share and subscribe if it does work for you and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and here she is all cut out. <laughs>